So you've developed your application to allow your users to turn data into action. Now it's time to get your users onboarded, to get them onto your system using your app and making decisions quicker and more effectively. In the BuddyBase portal, there's a users tab at the top where we can invite users into our BuddyBase instance. Here I can add users, I can put in their email addresses, I can set their particular level, so app user, they would only have individual apps, developer and admin. So I'll leave this person as app user. I can add multiple emails in one go. When I've done that, I'll add users, I've got two options. I can send email invites, which requires my user to then click on that email, confirm they've accepted the invite and then generate their password. I'll need to have set up email within BuddyBase to be able to allow that to work or I can generate passwords for each user, which I'm going to use now. When that's done, I get a starting password for this particular user. So I'll copy that and we'll log in as that user. So as a newly logged in user, the first thing I'll be asked to do is to create my own password. So I'll do that. And then I'll log in again. So this particular user, has been welcomed, but doesn't have access to any applications yet. Back in my admin, I'm going to go to one of my applications and click on manage. Now that I'm inside my application, I'll click on the users panel up here, add users and groups to your app. I've got test at Kevin Cunningham. I'll add them as a basic user here. So as a basic user, this particular person can use the application. When I give them access to the URL, they'll be able to see it, but they won't have admin access, the ability to change it on the back end. So I publish this application. This user can now see it because it's been published and they can use it, but they don't have the ability to be able to configure it or change anything on the back end. Once we have our users onboarded and added to the applications, we can remove them from individual applications by just clicking remove. And then that user won't have access to that application anymore. As well as adding users through the UI, we can also import a CSV file and add those users either as app developer or admin access through a spreadsheet. If we have sent email invites, but they haven't yet been accepted, we'll be able to see them in this pending invite section below. As we'll see in a future video, BuddyBase can also be configured to use single sign-on. However, even when using single sign-on, the email address needs to exist in our internal database so that BuddyBase can manage which applications that particular sign-on user is able to use and have access to.